Hi everyone, George here from Data Academy. Today, we're going to walk through the process of uh, deploying an SKLR model using GCP AI Predict from the command line. Instead of using the, the terminal, we're actually going to do this in a Jupyter Notebook. What you need to do is simply add the uh, exclamation mark in front of your commands, and then you'll be able to run them in this uh, environment. Also, in order to be able to follow today's tutorial, you would need your GCP project set up and your service account uh, activated. If you don't know how to do this, please follow my previous tutorial, which is called Setup GCP for ML Deployment. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we need to uh, import the OS module. And then we need to set up a bunch of uh, variables. For example, the service account name, the product ID. Again, you can check out my previous tutorial if you don't know how to get uh, these information. And next, we need the, uh, the bucket name and model directory. So what is a bucket? So in short, a bucket is just a folder on GCP storage. That's where you can store your stuff. So we're going to call our bucket just a GCP deploy, and then the model directory is going to be format, formatted this way. And then this is the region. We want to uh, deploy our model and store the, uh, the model files. And we're going to provide a model name and version name, and also the framework. So first of all, the uh, framework, it is the uh, either sklearn or PyTorch or Keras. Those are the frameworks because our model is developed using sklearn, so we're going to use scikit-learn as the framework. And for model and the version, these are actually the, uh, uh, the two levels of concepts you need to understand on GCP AI Predict. So right now, if we go to AI platform and then models, we can see there is actually nothing in here. So first, you need to create a model. So today, we're going to create a model in the name of wine classifier. So tomorrow, maybe we're going to have another classifier, another model. Okay, And for each model, we can have different versions. So today, we're going to deploy a very basic version, which is this version number. But in the future, maybe we have an improved version. Then we're going to deploy a new version. So you see, we can have multiple models. And under each model, there can be multiple versions. And note that you, can, you cannot have uh, the dot symbol in here. So you have to replace the dot symbol with the underscore. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it in terms of uh, setting up those uh, variables. Next, we will need to uh, basically set the environment variable here so that uh, we are able to find the key file. Okay, uh, in here because we're going to use the key file right down below here. Okay, so first uh, we're going to do the authorization. Basically, last time we have set up our service account. So this time we are going to use that service account to do stuff. What are we going to do? We are going to store the model files to GCP storage. We're going to do the model deployment. So all those we need the uh, GCP service account. So that can be done by doing this. We're going to activate the service account by providing the service account name, the key file, and also the product ID. So let's do that. And next we can check. Okay, so that is all good. So basically we have already activated this service account for this product. So that's all good. Next, we are going to do the uh, store the model onto GCP storage. So first, we need to have a bucket. So using gsutil mb, this command, we can create. This means uh, make bucket. We can create a bucket. And uh, with the, uh, the L flag, we are basically specifying the location of uh, uh, where to put this uh, bucket. And then here, we provide the bucket name. So once the uh, bucket is created, which is already done, next we are going to 
store our model file into that into that uh, bucket. So this is the command gsutil copy. Okay, from my current folder, this model file to this remote storage bucket. Okay, so this is the bucket name and this is the, the target file name. So we're going to do that. So once we store our model file onto GCP storage, now we are ready to finally do the deployment. And uh, just now we mentioned uh, the two layers of concepts. So number one is the model. Number two is the version. So we first need to create a model resource. So for that, we need to use G Cloud AI platform models create. And then we provide the model name here like this, and then the region like this. By doing this, we can create the model. So that is done. Finally, we are going to deploy a version under the model we have just specified. Okay, so for that, we need the G Cloud AI platform versions create to create a new version. This is the version name. And we are going to create a ver the version on top of this model. And we are going to grab the model file from here. And uh, we are going to use uh, this runtime version and uh, this framework and the Python version and the region, that's it. So now we can run this and this is going to take a couple of minutes, but once this is done, you can go on to GCP AI predict to verify your model has been deployed. That's it, thank you for watching.